Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semmerauer. We're starting off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. President Biden addressed the nation from the White House, vowing to pressure Congress into enacting new gun control measures. The president address comes after multiple mass shootings across the country and just before three people were killed in an Iowa church shooting. The president proposed reimposing the assault weapons ban, universalizing background checks and instituting so-called red flag laws that make it easier for judges to declare that troubled individuals can be kept away from possessing guns. Closer to home, the state of Nevada plans to divest public funds for gun makers in response to the tragic Texas shooting. Review Journal's Jen Ah has the details. State Treasurer Zach Conine says Nevada will divest all public funds from companies that manufacture or sell assault weapons. This comes after the school shooting in Texas left 19 students and two adults dead last week. He says... We have a moral obligation not to just offer thoughts and prayers, but to act. The Treasurer's Office handles $49 billion in public investments, $89 million of which the office plans to divest because of this policy shift. Here's a chart showing just how much Nevada's Treasurer's Office intends to liquidate, the largest chunk going towards Nevada's college savings plan. This plan will be presented to the State Board of Finance and the College Savings Plans of Nevada Board of Trustees later this month. A felon from Florida is charged with carrying out a complex fraud scheme resulting in the theft of $240,000 in jewelry from a Las Vegas woman. According to police and court records, 32-year-old Fabricio Espinosa of Miami was extradited to Southern Nevada last week to face a felony count of theft for stealing 18 pieces of high-end jewelry from Michelle Primone. Police say in the warrant, Espinosa took possession of the jewelry and would wire her the money, but he never did. Police said Espinoza has a lengthy criminal history in Florida, but somehow was freed and never got her jewelry back. A road rage incident involving an off-duty Las Vegas police detective escalated when the officer pointed a gun at two people in his Northwest Valley neighborhood. According to the Metro Police Department, Detective Colin Snyder was booked into the Clark County Detention Center on two counts of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of oppression under the color of the law, police said. A woman told police that she was pulling up to her home when she made a wide turn and hit her brakes, angering the man in a pickup truck driving behind her. After the initial encounter escalated, Snyder allegedly identified himself as an officer and pointed a gun at the woman. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, two casinos will remain closed for business, at least for now. The City of North Las Vegas and the Nevada Gaming Control Board have given Station Casinos permission to keep its Texas Station and Fiesta Rancho Station properties closed for at least another year. The two properties, along with Fiesta Henderson, were closed in March 2020 at the start of the pandemic. The two properties will remain closed through at least June 2023. And renovations continue at the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. Scaffolding recently went up around the south entrance. The renovation will include a redesign of the mall's exterior entrances, all new state-of-the-art LED digital screens and signage, as well as modernized landscaping. Renovations are set to be completed in spring of 2023. Miracle Mile shops will remain open during the remodel. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STM Sports. Download the app today. In a rematch from Tuesday's victory, the Las Vegas Aces lost 97-90 to the Connecticut Sun Thursday night at Michelob Ultra Arena. The loss was only the second on the season and ends the Aces' winning streak at seven games. Kelsey Plum scored 23 points in the game. Jackie Young and Chelsea Gray were both injured in the fourth quarter and did not return. The Aces will finish out their three-game homestand Sunday against the Dallas Wings. Now it's time for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Friday, everyone. We are in a red flag warning today. Winds coming from the southwest increasing to about 25 miles per hour by this afternoon. Highs today will be around 100 degrees, evening lows staying in the mid-70s. For the weekend, winds will increase as we head into another red flag warning Saturday. Winds increasing to about 31 miles per hour in parts of the valley all day long. Staying in the upper 90s until Sunday where we could see low 100s to start the work week. 
In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Children under five years old may be able to get their first COVID-19 vaccine in the coming weeks. The Biden administration made the announcement yesterday. The FDA's panel of advisors will meet June 14th and 15th to evaluate the Pfizer and Moderna shots for younger children. If federal regulators authorize shots for that age group, kids could get the vaccine as soon as June 21st. In your entertainment news, the Palms Casino Resort and Vegas Test Kitchen are teaming up for a one-of-a-kind pop-up restaurant experience. Guests can enjoy a taste test of a wide variety of cuisine from three local chefs from the Green Street Test Kitchen every Friday and Saturday night starting June 10th through July 30th. Prefixed dinners with welcome cocktails are $59 per person. For info and reservations, head to VegasTestKitchen.com slash events. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Tampa Bay Lightning are minus 125 favorites over the New York Rangers at William Hill Sportsbook to even their Eastern Conference Final Series at one game apiece. The Rangers, who won Game 1 by a 6-2 margin, are plus 105 underdogs in Game 2 today. The total is 5.5, with the under a minus 120 favorite. Two-time defending Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay is plus 210 on the minus 1.5 puck line. New York is a minus 125 favorite to win the series, and the Lightning are plus 105. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river. The wheels up day of service with Three Square got a hand from NFL superstar J.J. Watt. Great opportunity to volunteer to give back and to help get some meals ready for people out in the community. The event resulted in over 45,000 donated meals from the local community as part of the Meals Up initiative. And a slots player in downtown Las Vegas is starting the weekend $1 million richer. The player hit a jackpot on the Wheel of Fortune machine at the Golden Gate for $1.3 million, according to the casino's Twitter page. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.